It brags a comic great tomato. See that? <laughs> I just don't think it's a great tomato. They look like great tomatoes, but grown up, like blowed up big. So everything we found out, everything, once that we actually did a soil test, and we put the amendments on like we were pressing to, everything grew much bigger than normal. I'm going to go ahead and pick these tomatoes because I have some people who would like to have some. I'm going to pick them and just watch whatever I'm doing in the greenhouse. I'll come back periodically and talk to you. But I'm so glad you're with me. And by the way, my name's Granny, and this is Granny and Grumpy's Greenhouse. So you see the baskets, see how full we got the baskets. We used the green tomatoes to make salsa, we used the red tomatoes, um, well hallelujah I got my dehydrator finally. And I'm going to be taking those tomatoes in the house in a little bit. I'm going to give part of them to my sister-in-law when I pick up the eggs tomorrow. It's past noon here now because, uh, well. I'll show him to you when I go in the house. I have a little puppy. He's a long-haired Chihuahua puppy that I am. He's almost eight weeks old that I'm going to be selling. He usually makes a racket at night because he's. I'm trying to train him to go into the crate now. I have to be the one to take care of him because Bob has to work. Grumpy has to work, and so I don't get as much rest, and it's causing my feet to hurt so bad that I can't stand on them for a very long time because I'm not getting enough sleep. So, we had a late start this morning because of that. Here is what's going on with the rest of the, of the stuff. You see how tall, Bob was speaking about how tall the, the plants would go to try to reach the music. The ones that are closest to the music, they grow the tallest. And you see the difference between that and the end of the row over there of the sunflowers. Now... Well, over here, sorry, I went a little too fast. <laughs> um, over here we see where the peppers are and the lettuce. Uh, this lettuce is green leaf lettuce because that's my favorite. And it happened to be that this particular kind of green leaf lettuce you could grow in the summer here. It's so hot, so you don't wait to pick it, you know, after morning, early morning. Because if you do, it starts to become bitter each day. So then it cools off during the night, bitterness goes away. So we have a lot of different types of pepper plants. Bob planted a habanero for our Latino friends. He tries to eat a little bit at a time, but he about burns his gizzard out. And then we head on over here to where we have corn growing. We have black soybeans already on our soybean plants. At the end of that row, you can't see it from here, but at the end of that row, we have some sweet banana peppers. And then here, I know, you wonder what in the world is hanging from their plants. Well, these are melon plants. Actually, there looks like there's a cucumber plant that may have broke off when we were taking the cucumbers out. We had to take the cucumbers out because they were doing something kind of weird. So we don't know what went wrong, but we have all of these plants that are uh, growing melons. And so these melons are not real big melons. They're, they're different types from different parts of the world. And these melons, we put those in hoes. 
uh, my pantyhose when they get runs in them I save them and then we cut them up and use them as bags and that way they don't break down the the plant and then right here in front of us we have okra plants now look at this watch see how tall these were supposed to be dwarf okra no such thing <laughs> I think it had to do with the amendments we put in the soil. <laughs> and then here, we got the strawberry. You see the strawberry plants on the wall in the gutters. I'm so glad he had me to put strawberry plants in the gutters and he put them up for me. Because we've wanted strawberries for most of our married life and, and never had anywhere to put it until we moved here. So you can see all the strawberries that are growing on them. And the strawberry plants. And then here is strawberries, but we have a twist. It couldn't take it. Had to put something else in there that was a little on the spicy side. So our neighbors wanted some jalapeno peppers put in here. They wanted to see the difference between the ones I've got outside and the ones in the greenhouse. And then we're back again to our beloved tomato plants. But see, this is what you call tomato tar. I hope you can see that mess on my hands. It's really gross. It feels terrible. <laughs> Um, but they'll get, it'll get washed off when I get finished uh, with the video. So the other day on Sunday when he came out here, uh, we didn't wait to show this, but he actually added McCready's fertilizer to all of the plants. Uh, they were in great need. I have a, a few boxes that need to be weeded real bad, the one with the corn and the one with the okra, where the other plants were growing. We couldn't get to all those weeds because those weeds were just, you know, underneath the foliage of the squash plants and underneath the foliage of the cucumbers and everything and it's hard to get in there to be able to pick out all of the the weeds so i got some work ahead of me tomorrow we're not going to do it today because it's like it gets like 84 degrees in here with the wind blowing but it's it doesn't feel like the wind's blowing it feels really hot in here so i'm sweating like a dog <laughs> As you can see, we've got a lot of tomatoes also that are up uh, higher, but I can't reach them because I'm only 4 8. So I have to wait till Bob can come in and he can pick those because those tomato plants, uh, tomatoes really need to come down. I hope you've been able to hear me while I've been out here this morning. The fan's pretty loud. You know, it's the end of the tour to show you what's going on right now. When we get other things planted and stuff, we'll show you again or as things continue to get big. <laughs> uh, so, have a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me here in the greenhouse. This afternoon, I'm actually going to be making something in the kitchen. So, you'll get to visit Granny's kitchen a little bit later today. Have a blessed day. And until next time. <laughs>